Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. So it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of me, Nico the Circuit or Space Engineers. Last episode, we got this room up in Operation Nola. That was all good. We've got bits and bobs on there as you saw last time. The reactor is complete. He's up in operational. He's got some lovely juice in him. Lovely aesthetics of the room. Yeah, we're gonna whack that in there. As you see, it's coming down, and we're getting power. Sweet. In this episode, what we're going to do is we are actually going to go ahead and make this lift up to the the starter floor up there. Um, not sure how I'm going to go about it, but we are going to do it today. Currently, I'm in the process of making a medical room because I am sick to death using the survival kit. It doesn't give you much power. So, I'm just going to go ahead. You've seen me build these things before. I'm just going to go ahead, build it, and then showcase it. So, I'll bring you back in just a second. So, in time, this will get better. So, yeah, we've got the medical room, we've got med bay, which gives us power a lot quicker than what a survival kit does. We've got a cryopod up there for when I'm AFK. Okay. We can reach it, there we go, there it is. We've also got this uh, LCD, which tells us how much ice is in this, so we don't have to keep going in and out. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I was going to put a bit of uh, information up there, but I'm not sure what to put up there yet. I don't know why the control panel's there. Medical room. This is just for aesthetics and decoration. You can't use these. I don't know what you'd use them for currently, but there you go. It's a bit of a, a bit of a design there. Bosch him there. There we go. Medical room done. Okay, so I said it for the darkness. I need to light up this place. But here we are, block and a button panel. Now we just come over here and we're going up. Obviously, it doesn't reach all the way just yet. But <laughs> we've made it, and all it is is just a piston, one piston so far. So I'm gonna. Make sure, I don't know if it's going to work though. So I need to put this here and then see what happens. I'll bring you back. Okay, so right, what I've got is three pistons pointing down there. Now, I can't really connect these up because it probably connect, will it? No. No, it won't. Um. Can we move that out of the way? Is that... No way. Can we get this to work? Right, anyway, let's just set this up. So I need to come into K over here. And we need to go to Piston. Bosch, Bosch. No. Like that, I call it lift. Pistons. Now we can come into group one. And call lift pistons to extend. And then on here, groups retract um, we need to speed it up so it doesn't take the piss lift pistons we don't want it too quick I think we pushed it off center. Let's 
so can we not we can't even build anything here now because these are in the way um, how would one push that maybe if we grab this So what we're going to have to do is give it its breathing space, try it again. I don't think so, I think it's going to get wedged again. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, it's going to get stuck here so we can get to the loop. Oh, oh my god. Oh, body location. It's coming back down, it's fine. <laughs> oh, did it break? Oh, it does not look happy, does it? Body location's gone flying. I'll bring you back. It keeps killing me. <laughs> I can't fix it. I've messed it right up. Alright, I'm gonna have to get rid of that one. That one. Ooh. That one. Oh, don't repair it. Oh, it's fucked. It's fucked and if I go near it. It's gonna kill me. Oh. Oh. Oh sh. Whoa. No way. Look how much damage it did. <laughs> no. Oh golly. <laughs> oh my. Pistons were chapped to it and it popped this right off. <laughs> it went flying. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I know how to <laughs> make a lift here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's try again. We used the original pistons. Let's see how far that goes. Now where are we going? Space! I don't think we needed that <laughs> extra third one. So these piston extenders really go far, it's pretty cool. Right, I think we could get rid of the third one. And then give them maximum distance. Oh, that was funny. So it works. It's just turning them off right about now and then trying to build around it. It can't move at all either. I mean, I tried putting some catwalks down, and that just ended up in tears. Don't have to be perfect at the moment. They just get stuck, you see. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die again. Uh -uh. Yeah, 
they get stuck here. That's a bit shit. How can I stop them right now? Don't kill me, please. Right, if we get it just a little bit higher, and then we can start. Oh, it's gay. Right, I'm gonna have to bring you back. Unfortunately, I just can't get this to work. When I place one block this side, it pushes to that side, and then vice versa, it goes one side to the other. So, what I'm going to have to decide on doing is making just a, a staircase that goes up, like an emergency staircase. We've got we've got a jetpack, we don't need to really worry about it. However, I did want to make a lift for this, and I don't know if it's going to work anymore, because, yeah, it's just not going to work, is it? Unfortunately, it is what it is. We'll just have to make a ramp for rovers to get in and out. What I want to do is, like I said in the previous episode, just get rid of a big chunk of this wall, make a hangar that goes right through. One, one can have a ramp that leads up to the surface, the other can dwine down into the, the, the mountain. So I'm going to get this cleaned up and put staircase from hell in here okay so this is what I've come up with got no interior place but it's built uh, the, I'm only gonna use this if I run out of hydrogen for some reason even though the hydrogen's all down here or let's say I run out of hydrogen and I've got to get down from up here I'd probably die height so this is what I've done and we can continue this up into the control room which is going to be oh. a big ass room big glass room goes across from here I didn't want it too big so we just come across here so, and the stairs will lead up, and either side we can have some control panels. Sweet. Progression has been made. Can y'all see it? Wow. Ah, wow. Okay, there's Bad Boy. This one of the new box from Frost Boy. It's the antenna, and I whacked it on a piston rotor and basically he spins around now even though satellites don't really need to rotate I think it just looks a little bit better everything just seems to rotate in this base but command center's near enough built I decided to go for glass here and then what we can do let's just say flight kind of that and we can just place stuff down in an orderly fashion I put some windows on the sides here, and it's going to be like a little glass control room. Yeah, so progression. Fucking soiree. Eh? Need to put glass on this as well, and then it's pretty much done. Oh god, can we get him out of there? I don't know if we can. You know, I'm gonna have to check that right now. I haven't touched this for a while. That's off. That's an auto on that. Huh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ah, 
right, we're out. <laughs> Let's pop him down here. Whoopsies. Let's put him in the gun. Oh. <laughs> Uh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, we're going down! No! <laughs> Come on. Fucking about. We'll just leave, it. <laughs> just leave him there. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, I think. The bad thing about this location is we're in like a... The sun rises well before this hill. So, this isn't a really good place to be. But, I can't move it now, can I? Not unless I dig it. <laughs> I could just dig the whole base out, put some thrusters on and try and move the whole base. <laughs> uh, I better not do that. But yeah, not bad. <laughs> That's so derpy. <laughs> oh, so I'll leave it like that. <laughs> this ship is no good at keeping straight down. It just it's no good at all. It's no good for drilling down into depths to get stuff. So I think the next thing what we're going to do is I need to make an atmospheric monitor. It's about time. We've done so much making do with this. We could get so much more materials if we had a better ship. I mean, it's good. It's good in space. I'll use it all day in space on moons because. There's not much gravity there, but this doesn't like playing with gravity. I mean, I'm, all, I'm struggling to stay afloat while the vertical at 131,000 pounds, kilograms even. And this, in space, can hold up to 450. So, I think it's about time we decided to make a nice juicy atmospheric one. It's not going to be pretty, but it's going to be very good to use. Well, a new day has dawned for me, and I decided not to record as much because it was just a grind, but I've got something to show you. It's not all doom and gloom. You're asking, well, why are you getting in that one? There's your other one. Now, if we go down here, first of all, I decided to put a lot of lives, <laughs> which makes things easy to do. As you can see, I've made, or oh, well, the start of bay two. That's going to be bay one, bay two. Now, my miner's down here. Just make sure I don't damage this because I really need this. <laughs> I just turn them off for a second. So, yeah. I've got the hangar bay 2 on this door, and that shuts. Lovely. Absolutely fantastic. We've got ramps to hide the hangar doors. You can just open that again. I'll just come round here. I've had a bit of an accident. <laughs> My miner decided, well, I decided to run it into this wall here. It's fucking blown up, on it? <laughs> so I've got to put a landing gear on him, lift him up, so I can put a landing gear on that to set it down. Oh, nightmare. Okay, the landing gear is on. Um, 
first of all, what I need to do is go to G for the landing gate on uh, auto lock and switch lock. Now we can come over to him. This has never been the best. Come over to him here. Oh my god, he's struggling. Why are you struggling? This is why we need the base so we can do some work. Don't fail on me now. Right, I'm gonna get some height. Jump out. Put the landing gear on. Uh, where can we just put this? We got no steel plate. It's fine. We put it here. Just like that. And we'll go for six. Put the landing gear on. Make him. Jump in him. Okay, he's locked. We'll turn him off. And we'll get him out of it. Right, we can rework on this now. Luckily, not much is broke on it, and all the reactors up there are nicely tucked away. So it's just basically put him on um, H2, put him on the back, just like that. Then we get the thrusters. Put him there. Him that, then we get the seven, him that, whack him in here, and then we put the thrusters on that, and on that. Right, it's pretty much rebuilt. So, I've decided to make another build and repair system because. He was reaching up to about here, as you can see here, it just stopped, so we've got a nice big chunk of the base for him to repair and fix. Um, we've moved the bottom panel to there, so it's out the way of any rovers that come down and up the ramps and uh, all around. We've got him up and operational. We are happy again, we're back to where we were. The next thing that I would like to do, obviously I said that I need an atmospheric thruster, but we're going to postpone that, I'm going to wait till these bays are complete and then I'm going to put um, an auto building ship area in this one, and we can call this one repair dock 2 or some shit. Then I'm going to make a ramp that goes up to the surface with hangar doors here, and on this side be a hangar door which leads down to a massive basement where I can remove all this um, maybe put the stuff lower so we've got a nice big area to build stuff I, I don't know build big rovers and get in and out so that is the plan of action so bay one I've decided to be the projector builds now I've got two assemblers here two build and repair systems here we've got the tubing that's coming from the refineries to feed these assemblers with um, ingots and wafers and stuff like that so the tubing will come up connect to these I may have to connect the assemblers together I don't know if it'll go through them just yet then I'm going to have the projectors on either side because of the way that I set up the base. It's an even number, so I couldn't have one centered one because it'd be off centered. So I'm going to have two projectors. One's not going to be in use all the time, the other is going to be the main one. So there we go. I'll bring you back when I've got it all set up. So bring you back just to show you how good this mod is. So it's built info. So if we get the projector up, and we put the information here, 
gives you the Y, X and Z locations. That shows you which way's up, which way's forward. So we can put that up, and then that's forward. Boom. So now I've just got to set up the small, um, small projector here. I've got to connect it to a bloody rotor. Don't know even how to do it. This here, AI computer, is just a basic re-copy of the programmable block. It looks pretty cool. Let me just turn this off. There we go. Look how cool that looks. It doesn't talk to you, I don't think. But, yeah. I think it looks a bit better than the programmable block. But yeah. We're getting that. It was actually really easy. So, I put the rotor down. And I come into the console. And we go on to rotor. It was rotor 3. And all you gotta do is add small head bosh once that's made you can then get your small block and place it on and I'm gonna need to do that so the projector says oh my golly oh no it's fine it's fine we'll get seven we'll get the small projector we'll see where he is that's forward, that's right, that's up. Boom. Right. <clears throat> you need to build this out. What, what I'm going to be doing is auto building blueprints. Uh, you need to basically have this set up and the projected. Uh, I'll quickly just show you. So if we go on to projector, projector. Is it that it's the different coloured one? This is uh, we'll call this one small so we don't get mixed up. Small projectile blueprint. Uh, let's just say Mark II asteroid. So now you gotta bring it forward. Oh no! Please don't tell me you're making that. They're making it. Oh my God! Stop! Stop! Okay, I guess we don't need the, the script anymore. Um, <laughs> hold on. Okay, so, now that you've got a little bit of an arm, extends out, you need this, this is quite important. So we come to small, set it back up. Did just delete it, it become a knob. Put your blueprint, get it to asteroid minor 2, and before you go off it, what are we on here? Small grid projector, and you need to forward off center, like so, and then what you need to do is you need to make it so it's just set in to this arm here. That way, once it's been created, it doesn't delete your block. So let's have a go at trying to do that right now. I'm going to just turn him back. I, I don't understand because I'm pretty sure it needed a script to run this. So I put some ice into this now, and we should have it. Yeah, that's more than enough. So we hit this on. The good thing about when it blueprints, it builds itself. So basically, it has all the components all set up. Right, so they're not on. Yeah, we turn that off. Right, they're on. It should levitate. Should. Okay. I didn't put any uranium in, did I? Knob. 
Okay, so we now have some uranium, but we've got a problem. <laughs> I can't get to it. And if we put it in here, it's not going to move. Because it's all turned off. Uh, yeah. Be careful if you make a ship from a blueprint. Make sure it's got fuel in the right place. So <laughs> we come to him. Let's turn him on. And unlock. And the good thing is as well, if we have a break one, we can just get a... Um, we can just basically print it. Let's turn that on. We gotta be quick about this. Yep. Okay. Oh! Oh! That might do! That might do! You keep doing that! It's fine. Just don't blow up. Now. Get your jetpack on. Get underneath. There we go. Put 10 in there. Boom. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna. Unlock that. Move. Right, there we go. It's definitely working. <laughs> We've got two of them now. <laughs> Small grid. So it doesn't give it its name, but it puts everything else like the bean juice there. Eh, it's not. It's not a problem. And there you go. Let's say you. You print ships off with the build and repair system. <laughs> How cool is that? We've got a printing hanger now. And this one, like just so, these are going to be two bays for <laughs> the asteroid miners. Oh, it's sick. Right, next thing to do is going to be working on the ramp up and the ramp down. I think that'll be in a later video. I think this one's going on a little bit long. That's it for this episode, everybody. So, in the next one, I think what we're going to do is build ourselves an atmospheric one using these geysers. And we'll work... When, once we've got the better atmospheric one, we're going to have a few more drills. Of make, making a ramp up and a ramp down a lot easier and a lot quicker. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have, please come back and watch some more. It's really appreciated. I've been Nico the Sicko. This is Special Delay!